Hi guys, Ready Set RC, and today we are unboxing the Losi DBXL E 2.0. This is a one-fifth scale desert buggy designed by Losi, sold by Horizon Hobby. But let's get this RC out of the box. So here we are. Losi DBX LE 2.0 out of the box. As you guys can see, we have the Fox livery on this one. Amazing, guys, this thing looks amazing in person. If you have not seen it in person, please go down to your local hobby shop and check it out. Um, full disclaimer, I did not have the gas version, petrol version, and or the first gen electric version of this. So this is my first time actually having one of these in the studio. I have seen the first gen electric in person, but I've never driven it. Uh, definitely really do love how it's looking. So first off guys, let's go with what comes in the box. You get the Spectrum DX2E controller. This one has the low, medium uh, and high setting in here. Also, you have your AVC setting over here off of the side. Steering trim, throttle trim, your bind button, all the, fan, the standard affair when it comes to these DX2Es. Nothing has changed pretty much. What I've noticed though is that they started putting the coloring back on the controller. Nice touch there, Losi. I uh, just would like to see a foam wheel on here, you know, just being picky. But for me, I'll be hooking this up to my DX4R Pro and this will be put to the side. They give you four double A's to go along with the controller. You have an amazing hex tool wrench, which also gives you the ability to do turnbuckle alignment. Your standard hex is in there, but hopefully if you're an owner of one of these, you have a proper hex tool to use with it. With the owner's manual and some firma and smart technology stickers in there. Outside of that, guys, that's everything that came in the box. This thing is amazing. Let's start to dig into this. As you can see from the exterior, Fox livery throughout. We have even the Fox laser etching on the top of the shock mount. One thing that I want to point out here on this truck, guys, is that I did a little something on my own. I wish they had came with the tethering for the body clips. So what I did was order up the low C tethering body clips. This is the same as the armor ones. And I mounted that up on the truck. Just felt it was a touch that they should have added. Something that I added to just make it a little bit easier when I remove those body clips. Also what you have here is a nice beefy light mount on the top. And to get into the inner parts of this truck, that's all you're doing guys. It's a hinge system. The lighting is all on the top portion of the buggy. And it is amazing of how they have the wiring out in, into this vehicle. But let's dig into the insides of this buggy. And just going through it on the DBXL E 2.0, this vehicle has a four millimeter aluminum chassis with a six millimeter aluminum shock towers on here on the front and on the rear. As I was stating before, laser etch Fox shock caps on this huge big bore shocks coming down here. Features a composite chassis plate coming down to a front brace. Two braces coming up in the rear, going to that rear shock tower. Front and rear sway bars on this vehicle. There's also droop screws in the front and rear A arms. What I'm noticing too about the stock configuration from the manufacturer is the droop on the rear is fully engaged. So I don't think you're going to be able to get much more droop out of the rear on this buggy. It looks like it's fully engaged on here. As for the front, there is a lot more play to get the droop on here. Uh, but I don't think you need any more in regards to the front setup. Just touching on the servo, the servo is a, is a Spectrum S906. The servo box in here is capable of mounting two servos. We'll see how this buggy performs and if needed we will upgrade that to a dual servo system. For the ESC we're looking at the Spectrum Firma 160 amp brushless smart ESC connected to our IC5. For the motor we have a Spectrum Firma 4 pole 780 kV brushless motor. Uh, as for the battery trays we have two large battery trays able to hold 4S packs in here. Within the battery boxes, there is a foam insert, but it can easily be removed. 
what I'm also noticing in this buggy is a huge aluminum center diff case on here. This diff case is standard from what I've seen on the Gen 1 electric to this Gen 2. The Maxxis Creepy Crawler tires that are on here are on a beadlock system and there is a foam insert inside of these wheels. But that's it guys, let's get into some comparisons with some of the other vehicles we have here at Ready Set RC. All right guys, here is the Losi DBX LE 2.0. Up here is my Losi Super Baja Ray. As you guys can clearly see, there is a considerable amount of size difference between the two trucks. This is a 1-6 scale trophy truck compared to the 1 fifth scale Desert Buggy XLE. This thing is a fairly large truck guys and you can see how much bigger the DBXLE is compared to it. This thing is massive guys and at 24 pounds it is a very large and heavy vehicle. I was just lifting up my Super Baja Ray and it feels like a 10th scale compared to this truck guys. I mean this thing is so much bigger. I'm going to give you another angle to see the size of these two vehicles. Hopefully you guys can see the width of the DBXL E 2.0 to the Losi Super Baja Ray. <laughs> this is ridiculous guys. This is completely ridiculous. I never knew that this DBXL 2.0 was that much bigger than my, Lucy, my Losi Super Baja Ray. As you can say, and as I said it before, this is one sixth scale, one fifth scale. I mean, it's not even close. And I'm not even gonna waste your time showing you a one tenth scale or a one eighth scale compared to this. The Losi SCBE, which is the same size vehicle as the Losi Tenacity DB Pro. And by any imagination, that is pretty much the size of a one tenth scale short course truck or a one eighth scale buggy. And you saw the size difference of that. You saw me put a Losi Mini 8 DB that's a 1 14th scale vehicle, and that even is dwarfed by it. So I won't even put any vehicle that's 1 8th, 1 10th scale to compare to this. I'm gonna show you some other large scale RCs that we have at Ready Start RC to compare to this too. And here we are guys, Armour Mojave 6S Losi DBXLE 2.0. I don't even think it's even close. I figure since this is one of Armour's recent releases, I would put that up against this so you guys would see a size comparison, but you could clearly see it's not even close. This DBXLE is just enormous, guys. It is a very large vehicle. Let's get one more vehicle out of our collection to compare to this buggy. Now I was thinking about what vehicle could I bring out from the Ready Set RC collection to compare in size to the DBXLE 2.0 that you guys would love to see. And here it is, my X Max. But you guys can see the size difference of the X Max to the low C DBXLE 2.0. This is a Big buggy guys. I don't know how much more clear I can put that across. And you guys are familiar with how large the X Max is. Now these are two completely different vehicles. So do not think that I am comparing them in any other fashion than size. But you can see the difference. This is matched up pretty close there on that side, at least from what I'm seeing on the monitor. It's matched up pretty close in regards to the rear axle. And you can see where that axle comes down and you can see where that axle comes down. There is a, di a definitely a size difference Traxxas here. Traxxas X-Max 8S Losi DBXLE 2.0. Size difference in regards to the widths. Try to match it up on one side as clear as possible and to the other side. And you can see guys, I mean, very large. With the Traxxas X Max, it's been debated either 1 6, 1 5th. I just call it large. X Max is a large truck, guys. But compared to this fifth scale, you really see that the DBX LE 
is truly in its fact a fifth scale vehicle. So that's it guys. We're doing a quick overview of the DBX LE 2.0. We've done some size comparisons and I gotta say guys, this thing looks amazing. Hopefully it lives up to the part based on everything that I've seen and read about this buggy. But please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram for the latest post to our channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.